Peggy 18. Previously on Brotherhood Diaries. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood starts off at exactly the moment that Assassin's Creed 2 ended. This time around, we are going to focus on the city of Rome itself and on the life of Ezio. Ezio is much older, he's wiser, and he's about to become a leader of the Assassin Order. By ascending through the Renaissance Church, the Templars seized control of Rome and made it the heart of their hidden empire. Now its citizens live in fear and poverty, but hope will arise as a Brotherhood is born. Welcome to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood Diaries. In Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, Ezio's villa is attacked and destroyed by Cesare Borgia. <laughs> After Ezio's villa is destroyed, he journeys to Rome to rebuild the Assassin's Order and strike at the heart of the Templars. Rome was completely decrepit. People were poor, people were starved, they were scared, they were being bullied all the time. Rome was not the jewel that we know today or even thought it would be at that time. The city of Rome was truly the center of power and corruption at the time. So there's going to be a strong military presence represented by the Borgias. So Ezio is going to fight against the Borgia. He's going to bring the Renaissance back to Rome. When you're going to want to rebuild Rome, you're going to have to deal with the zones that are occupied by the Borgias. When you get rid of one of those Borgia zones or Borgia towers, you're going to be able to open more shops, open stables, people will look healthier, there's gonna be less bandits. Very subtly, we see Rome change, and the people become confident that uh, the Borgias have less and less influence over their lives. Rome as a city is nice because you have a bit of water, huge landmarks, variations in levels. You have hills, the seven hills of Rome. There's the Colosseum, the Pantheon. Castel Sant'Angelo, there's the Vatican, so that's all the new stuff that you're gonna see in this city. Rome is three times the size of Florence. It's uh, the biggest map that we've ever done uh, in an Assassin's Creed game, and so it made sense for us to introduce the horse uh, in the city. Having other NPCs on a horse will allow you to do horse against horse combat mode. You'll be able to assassinate from horse, start a furin sequence from your horse, air assassinate a guy and take his horse, but there's a lot of cool new moves that we're adding with that play element. Ezio now, a master assassin, will see the potential in some recruits and save them from the Borgia oppression by fighting off guards surrounding the, the recruit, and he will invite them to join the order. The thing is, the player will actually have to train these guys. But through the process of the game and through the missions that you can send them on, you'll be able to upgrade them and make them even stronger. With this, the player will have some pretty kick-ass allies to help him fight the Borgia. But you gotta be careful because they can die. And once they're dead, they're gone forever. As a player, you totally get to customize your own assassin. You can specialize a certain assassin with long range or another one that could help you out in hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat fighting along with you. Like the coolest thing I ever saw was I was in a big fight, I, was, I called my assassin's guild. They came in, they took out the guys. Next thing I knew, they threw some smoke bombs, which then allowed me to finish off the guys, and then they ran off. It was, it was brilliant. Once you see them in action, your jaw's gonna drop. Next on the Brotherhood Diaries. You get to kill somebody with a sword, and then you get to shoot his head with a gun. That's pretty violent. Ezio is facing his toughest foe ever, Cesare Borgia. 